they live. Perfect yeah. coffee weather. Yeah. You know, in, in the 60s yeah. like that, you sit outside in the morning and sip a nice yeah. warm cup of coffee. And we're going to be buzzing around by around the middle yep. of the show. Yep. Well, you guys have a perfect poison coffee-wise. Mm. I'm pretty boring. I'm, <laughs> I just we're straight, basic straight, here. Straight black coffee for me. I was going to say yes. I'm quite yep. basic. I live for the pumpkin spice lattes, uh, <laughs> the yeah. seasonal stuff. Yeah. Yes. I, and I, are you guys the kind that if the coffee you don't have it first thing in the morning, it's just like oh, oh my goodness. Yes, yes definitely. Well, yeah, only only on early morning days. <laughs> the other days I can I can hang. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's the way I am. If I forget to make coffee in the morning, because mm -hmm. 2 o'clock in the morning, well, you know, that that's, that's a whole different <laughs> ball of wax. But, yeah, yeah, if it's not made, it's just like, yeah. So, but, it becomes but, a mental thing. I yeah. think for me now, the caffeine has no legitimate effect, but it's the Aww. mental thing. I have to have the smell. My you just, mind I just, just like feel more awake. Yeah. Coffee, yeah, it's definitely you know, more mental than anything. What I think is interesting, though, <laughs> is between the five of us, so many just black coffee drinkers, except for the, <laughs> the pumpkin because <laughs> usually everybody does a, you know, a upside down I read some we... survey on Google that said people who drink their coffee black have psychopathic we will take it from here have a fantastic oh my weekend gosh. my wife would say that because she always says she goes that you know sludge that you drink but right. if you can see through coffee it's called tea Yes, it, <laughs> yes, yes, that is true. It's got to be, true. you know, kind of give you the shivers when you, it's so dark and rich mm -hmm. that when you drink it. So. so we want to know, share your coffee creations. Let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. If you have a picture of it, if you're drinking it right now, because mm -hmm. you're one of those that likes that middle of the day kind of pick me up, send it to us at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll share some of those a little later on in the show. Middle well, of the day, beginning of the day, end of the day, it coffee. It doesn't matter. All day long. Yes, we're ready to perk up your weekend with a little pick-me-up. Yes, indeed. And Linda Brewster is here. She is the founder of the San Antonio Coffee Festival. And while the festival is not coming up until the first of the year, any day's a festival when you have coffee, right? Happy National Coffee Day. <laughs> <laughs> this is the day you've been training for. Yeah. Oh, I mean, with a last name like... It's like confetti, like, but it's coffee beans. last name like Brewster. I mean, this is it. <laughs> you were destined to start I this, agree. weren't you? And in San Antonio, of all wonderful places, you guys need a cup of coffee in your hands, yes? All right. Okay. 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 I'll drink we to that. We are going to share with you a very unique coffee brewing... Approach. How do you do that? What is, what's happening? The clever. Look at that. When so it's like a French. Place it on top of your cup. It drains right out. Is that super? So cool? all you have to do is put the cup right there. You're That's, not pushing anything no, with your I right hand. I'm not doing anything. Magic. Look at that. Right? It's magic comes right out here. So is it? It's kind of a French mm -hmm. press type. Uh -huh. It is a French press. Okay. They call it a full immersion. And we have been brewing this coffee for you for the past four minutes. Perfectly oh. timed for you. Perfect. The Thank coffee you so you're much. drinking also Thank has been so much. locally roasted by HEB, and it is called the Taste of, of course, San Antonio. Oh, yeah. look at that! That's tasty. So, yes, HEB has done a wonderful job. A little chocolate, a little cinnamon you're going to mm -hmm. be tasting in that coffee, and it is uh, just the right temperature. You never want to drink your coffee too hot. Because you burn your tongue. You do, yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. All right. Um, Coffee is not just for breakfast or, you know, right after dinner with dessert or something like that. It is all throughout the day, as we were talking about, and stew made with coffee? Mm -hmm. Sure, absolutely. We've been marinating this meat overnight mm -hmm. in a cold brew coffee, a little bit of soy sauce, salt and pepper. And, and the coffee acts like, uh, tends to tenderize the meat it just does. a little bit. It so really you can does. just use good old, you know, inexpensive stew meat mm -hmm. and put sure. a little coffee in That's there. That's exactly so. what it is. So we're going to start browning this okay. meat. For a little bit. That will go in there like any other stew meat. You would get it nice and browned. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now just a little salt and pepper and add it. Oh, we lost uh -oh. our plug we right here. We might have lost our plug. There we We've go. put a little salt and pepper in there. Mark's gone this into the live. basement. He'll be right back. <laughs> there we go. We are we are cooking wait, wait. with gas we're, now. We're cooking with coffee now. Seriously. And he's back. <laughs> There's that sizzle, I think, something Absolutely. like that. So Okay, so we would put the, the meat in there and it's not as though we had <laughs> She's yeah, gone too. Decades, so. Okay, uh, and you don't add coffee to it after this point. Actually, it's, you could? surprise, you will. Instead oh, you will. of your bouillon, we are going to do a cold brewed coffee again from HEB. Okay. But we're going to brown the meat first. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. So, so it would get all browned right, up. And that's everything, right. Remember how like that, that coating goes around your meat, and that's right. what you do right before you do a stew. Okay. 
while you're browning mm -hmm. and drinking your coffee, yes. how about a little cocktail? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Let's start. Okay. It is. We have a recipe that is made with a French liqueur. It's got some cognac and an orange essence. And what Fiona's going to do is she's going to put a little bit in here, and we're going to swirl it around. What you're doing is coating your glass. Perfect. So all it's right, got you want two or one? And another uh, one? One of these. Oh, two. Okay. Yeah, you no, think, we'll do yeah, two. All right, why not? I hate it is coffee day. I hate to and, drink alone. And we are <laughs> celebrating. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> all I didn't right, disappear. So, I just bent down to plug it in. All right, in, so, so we've <laughs> swirled it around the glass there, and mm -hmm. we're going to leave a coat. We've already chilled these glasses, which is so important in your martini making. We are going to take two jiggers of this fabulous San Antonio distilled vodka. Okay. Do one and two. Awesome. Woo, All right, put it right in, in there. Okay. Absolutely. And now, now we have our, again, our cold brew coffee, not hot. While you're mixing that up, what's the difference between cold brewed and hot brewed? How do you oh, cold I brew coffee? I love that question. So I use something that's called a coffee sock, and uh -huh. I take coffee. Another yes, another one. And, and, actually, and one more. We're going to do two more of those. Okay. Awesome. I let it steep overnight, 12 hours in fresh water. Mm -hmm. I take that coffee sock out that's filled with coffee grounds. It has a little bit of chicory, too, because that boosts the flavor. Voila, that's cold brew coffee. A little bit different than iced coffee, which is a hot espresso served Put on over, ice. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, when you, you say... Are a ready. A coffee sock. We're not talking about your old gym sock that you put coffee <laughs> we in. Are, so. We are not. That's perfect. We are not. It's actually made by a wonderful family in Austin, and it's called Coffee Sock. Hmm. Yeah. Or could you use a coffee filter and just tie it up? And you sure it could. Okay. Yeah, you can do. Any, uh, there are like actually that, whole so. machines that do nothing but help you portion out your coffee. Oh, ah. there you go. Thank you, oh, she's got it. Well, she's got to garnish it for you. This is for the perfect coffee lover having. <laughs> Aren't having you glad coffee. I did that? <laughs> So, so you can go for coffee cocktails, coffee afterwards, a coffee stew, and just go to town. And I sure can. Uh oh, Mike got excited about Ooh. his coffee cocktail. He forgot I'm, to brown his meat. I'm gonna help so you. So make out. sure you have the coffee, the cocktails <laughs> after the stew meat is brown. <laughs> and then go. with the stew, you would go like any other regular stew and get the meat all brown, put the liquid in there, absolutely, and just get all those flavors mm -hmm. going together. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and the uh, coffee. Um, now, you're the founder, right, of the yes. San yes, Antonio, San Antonio Coffee, Coffee Festival. Festival. This will be our sixth year. Uh -huh. We're going to be at La Vaita again. Last year, it was the coldest day of the year. <laughs> the fountain froze over, so we need everybody's good wishes to get us a nice cool That will day. be coming up in January, of course. But if you'd like more information on the coffee festival and some great coffee recipes from Linda Brewster, founder of the San Antonio Coffee Festival. You can go to SA.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you very much, Linda. Appreciate that. You know what we love to do on this show? Uh, have eat, a good time and eat. Eat, drink. And drink. <laughs> <laughs> What it's else is like there? the best lunchtime ever, <laughs> okay, is we like to share a latte cool spots around town. Get a latte there. cool spot. So in honor of National Coffee Day, thank you for the uh, puns there, Rossi. Uh, we wanted, thought we'd perk up your Friday. Jen Tobias Trusky takes you to some of our favorite cool coffee shops around San Antonio. Take a look. In a rush, Mila Coffee Truck has you covered. Parked off Broadway, just north of the Pearl, they are proud of their Mexican vanilla latte. Uh, when we do this Mexican vanilla, um, we serve mm -hmm. the vanilla back home in Veracruz. Uh, Veracruz, Mexico? Veracruz, Mexico, yes. Uh, and we do the syrups with it. But we also do great cappuccinos. Uh, we also have an horchata over espresso that is really good what? and tasty. That sounds amazing. That's, that's super amazing. And a very loyal following, too. Over on 281 in St. Mary's, you will discover Moon Milk. Come on, let's go inside. And it's seven natural sweeteners that we combine with milk, and people love it. Our most popular version is the half moon, and we can make that over ice, which we call the winter moon, or hot, which we call our summer moon. The mix of various natural sweeteners is out of this world, according to all the regulars. Here we go. Yeah, I tried it too. Hey, Lumen, it's espresso. Way to go, girl. Good job. <laughs> so good. In the heart of the medical center, Martinez Cafe is making a buzz for their Argentinian sweets. This right here is the alfajor. It's an Argentinian pastry, and it's one of the favorites here. So I'm going to try it because Pablo says I have to try it with my coffee. So let's go ahead and taste this. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, I had to drink first. I'm gonna take a bite. Mm. Oh, oh. And the spinach cake and lavender latte were among the customer favorites. It has blueberries, pomegranate, so it's a perfect, oh my goodness. light, sweet cake. Known for their creative donuts, Art of Donut also has some creative coffee drinks, including the maple bacon latte. With so many places around town, we can't possibly cover them all, but for now, we will finish off with some coffee cocktails. Yep, this is a Long Island iced coffee and a chocolate Wait, a espresso Long Island iced coffee. coffee. Pretty strong. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Drusky. That looks good. All cool. right. If that wasn't enough coffee for you, David Elder is taking you to Mudslingers where their coffee coffee will definitely not be espresso point. Our visit was anything but a shot in the dark. Oh, the perky puns will continue. Plus, show your family and friends how much they bean to you with these <laughs> unique gave, gave, gifts. Gifts. <laughs> coffee cocktail and, and booze in it. So, uh, the, the coffee lover in your life can get this. Most of these are from your local businesses. Here, you read next, Fiona. <laughs> and it's the perfect sweet treat to go with your coffee today. Buying this delicious cupcake will actually feed 21 families in San Antonio. Wow. And before we go to break, here's a little coffee talk for you. Did you know the average American spends approximately $1,100 a year on coffee? That's about three bucks a day. Is that just plain coffee? I don't know if that's all that Starbucks type stuff. Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. Month, and we're here at Bird Bakery to show you how you can help fight hunger in San Antonio. Joining me is Bird Bakery's Elizabeth Chambers and CEO of the San Antonio Food Bank, Eric Cooper. Thanks so much for joining you guys. Thanks so much for being here. Um, let's talk about this initiative and why it's so important. Well, September is Hunger Action Month, and so for San Antonio, they can really choose their way in how to fight hunger. Orange is the color for hunger awareness, and so it really starts with a color, but we hope it ends with a solution, right? And the solution is how you will impact those in need, and we're just encouraging every company, individual, and organization to do their thing in the fight against hunger. And Elizabeth, aren't you glad about this partnership? I am so, I am so <laughs> glad. And how many times are we going to say orange in this segment? Let's just count. That's how many orange funds can we find? Um, no, at Bird Bakery, we are always all, all about giving back to the community. Um, so this was so important for us to partner with you all and, and do our orange sickle hunger awareness cupcake. So with the purchase of each cupcake all for the rest of the month of September, um, you will provide 21 meals to the food bank. A $3 cupcake can provide 21 meals right. to the San Antonio food bank. And if that's not a reason to buy a dozen, I don't know what is. <laughs> but you can give back all year long by also purchasing our Little Bird Vintage Designs uh, Tervis tumblers. So there are so many opportunities really to give, give, it. give. And today we're going to be decorating our orange circle. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Too. Okay. Fiona, yes. we've decorated cupcakes before. Uh, this yes. is your maiden uh, not well, That's right. Thank you. <laughs> so we are going to get down to business. Again, this is our orange circle cupcake. If you come today, you can maybe have one that was decorated by these two guest decorators. You might know, you might be able to set them apart. Some you'll know, you'll know which ones are mine. Exactly. You'll know exactly. which ones are mine. They're, yeah, they're not yeah. going to be perfect. Yeah. American Bird Bakery, we're known for our bird swirl. So you're going to have to oh, hand man. finish I'm it and make it look like this. How do we feel about this? Elizabeth, I'm not I'm gonna, sure. <laughs> I'm just trying to stay inside the yeah. cupcake. <laughs> Listen, you can't be philanthropic and a great cupcake that's decorator, right, okay? That's that would just that's be right, unfair. That's right, that's right. All, all the talents are, you know, not here. Now, Eric, tell me about how important partnerships with local businesses are. Well, it's incredible. You know, San Antonio is such a generous community, and it really is the fiber of what giving back is all about when you can get companies, individuals, employees involved, and it's whether it's creative strategies strategies like cupcake sales or um, coming out to volunteer, um, working in our warehouse, our kitchen, our farm, um, choosing to, you know, sponsor an event. There's lots of different ways that folks can help out the San Antonio Food Bank. Um, but Elizabeth, this is pretty creative and pretty amazing and I just can't wait to try one of these. Companies. <laughs> 
<laughs> I know. Maybe you can try one Take of them. Take some home with you. And thank you guys for all you do year round because I know it is a year round effort. Obviously, in September, we focus on it. And thank you for shedding light on it, Fiona, because it is so important. But you do this work year round. And well, it's, it's so humbling to see the generosity of our community. And you all know we've been super busy, not just with Hunger Action Month, but rising to the occasion of meeting the needs of folks affected by Hurricane Harvey and the disaster. And so um, San Antonio, it's such a great community. And uh, we're just so privileged to be a part of the solution and making sure people get nourishment and um, we can all help out and, and, and make a difference. And I think here at Bird Bakery, you guys are making a huge difference. And, um, and it's a very fun way to help us um, put food on the table for those in need. All right. Thanks so much, you guys. For more information, just we posted a link to both of their website on ours. Just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Cheers! I love that. Coming up, coffee gifts that'll pick you up when you are through. <laughs> For all the coffee lovers in your life. And a little later, beauty products that'll put the beauty into your routine. Our National Coffee Day celebration continues with beauty products with a boost of java. Just in case you haven't heard, it's National Coffee Day, and we're giving you these little beans of information throughout the show. We call it Coffee Talk Trivia. Did you know Americans consume 400 million cups of coffee a day? I do my part. That is 146 billion cups of coffee per year. That's a latte, coffee lovers. <laughs> These puns are giving me so much life today. All day. Rossi thanks you. She worked Thank very you, hard Rossi. on all the puns. <laughs> Elsa Fernandez, my candy boutique, is here and usually showing great fashions. But now you've got some fantastic gift ideas I for know. coffee lovers as well. I, I had so much fun with this ass assignment because I was able to get a mix of local and national brands for great ideas for and these are we're starting off with the local folks yes we're okay. starting off with the local lover because when you support local you support families and um people like myself so this first one is going to be very that mm -hmm. she actually sells in person at different markets here in san antonio and then also on etsy so she has the mugs that she makes by hand and then she also has the coffee tiles um the coffee tile she has what else to go better with coffee than some sweet bread or some Ooh. pan dulce doesn't that make you hungry? Yes, so it does. I can it. It always tastes better when you have something like that to go with coffee. You <laughs> it know, does. It just, yeah, it's, it's like a peanut perfect. butter and jelly, you know, that goes together perfectly. Can't have one so. without the other. That's my problem. So uh, <laughs> the second one, the local love, is going to be in the weeds. And Lika actually makes her products by hand. They're all natural. This is called Bump and Grind. And it's actually coffee <laughs> grounds. A great name. Yes, It's whole coffee beans, coffee, brown, uh, coffee grounds, and essential oils with rosemary. What it does, it promotes circulation. So it can um, help prevent or get rid of cellulite, varicose veins. If you have a really, really long night, the, uh, the night before, uh -huh. you can make a paste with a little bit of water, put it under your eye, and it brightens you up. Really? Mm -hmm. Just make oh. sure you don't get this confused with the coffee that you're going to drink the next morning. But, <laughs> and, then, and you said if you want to get rid of the cellulite, yes. you make a paste and then it's a wrap. wrap it in It's a wrap. So you make a paste and then put saran wrap around your problem areas. So you can even put it on like your leg, your upper leg, even your backside, and you want to saran wrap it if you want a little bit of lift. You can visit the website for more details. And then you just take the little paste and stick it underneath yes. your... And it brings you to life. Hmm, that's interesting. Just smelling like it. that one. So, mm -hmm. And this next one here. This one is a soy candle. So it's a combo of uh, coffee, peppermint, and mm. rosemary. Oh, that peppermint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, yeah, it has a really good cake. Um, the coffee is on the bottom, so the more you burn it, the more... Uh, coffee smell comes through. Okay. Then with uh, just like a lot of local boutiques, as you see on Pinterest, a lot of graphic tees are in because they're easy to pair with anything. Pick this up um, get, oh yeah, this one is uh, says coffee because adulting is hard because it is. <laughs> and this one in particular is from <laughs> like Eye Candy Boutique on the corner of Houston and Navarro, which is our boutique. Uh -huh. um, but a lot of boutiques carry these themed graphic uh, t-shirts. That's a great saying. <laughs> then, did you come up with that? <laughs> I wish I did, no. but I brought it into the store. Um, this next one is going to be from Indie Coffee Company, and it's a patched 
beanie. And because fall is coming up, that's definitely a good addition to have. A lot of the local coffee shops are going to have little gifts and trinkets that you can go, so that's another good idea. Okay, now some of the uh, national... The national brands. This is for our beauty lover um, and who also loves coffee. This is Origins, and it's called Ginseng Eye Cream. It's a combo of coffee beans, ginseng, and magnolia extract. You use your ring finger because it's your softest. There mm -hmm. you go. And you pat it underneath your eye to invigorate your skin and bring it back to life. This is better than a mirror. Get a close-up here <laughs> so, I can, so I can look in the monitor and, yeah, so, huh? Am I See? getting rid of my bags look here? Look at that. Good to go. Mm, okay. You're ready and to let's, hit let's, the day. I don't know about that. Let's jump over <laughs> to the end here. This is that soothing body bar. Yes. This is called? This is called a massage bar. I thought it was soap, but it's actually a massage bar. It's called Perk Up. It's a combo of um, oils and it has um, coffee grounds on it. So what you do, it activates with the heat of your arm. Mm -hmm. So if you rub it on your arm, it starts to melt and you can massage it. Turn it over, use the coffee grounds to um, get rid kind of tense of muscles. Oh, mm -hmm. oh really? Yeah. Okay. So have your significant other help you out. Teamwork makes the dream work. And then have a cup of, share a cup of coffee with that. <laughs> yes. So Elsa, some fantastic gift ideas. Love these for the coffee Thank lover you. in your life. And of course, for more information about Eye Candy Boutique, go to essaylive.com and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. All right, coming up, bring the sense of fall into your home with DIY pumpkin spice cubes. We are sharing the recipe. That's next. And earlier we asked you to share your coffee creations with us on social media. Julie said, don't have any pictures, but mine generally consists of a packet of cocoa in a cup of coffee, cheap mocha, and pretty good. Hey, if it tastes good, that's all that matters. Every night we don't. Yeah. All right. Well, the weather outside kind of gives us hope that cooler weather is on the horizon, right? Mario Sierra, owner of Karma Candle Makers, is here with a DIY scented cube recipe to warm up your home. And you're gonna show us how to do this because this isn't really that hard if you, if you know the steps. Exactly, yeah, okay. it's, it's not too difficult once you know the steps. Uh, so basically all that we're gonna be, uh, we'll be making today is gonna be uh, our uh, cubes. And we're also gonna be making a little pumpkin mold here. Uh, the fragrance that we're we'll making today is gonna be pumpkin spice. Okay, and these are what the cubes are look, gonna look like, like, right? After they've been solidified, yes, ma'am. Okay, in whatever color or scent yes. we decide to do it, which we're going to decide right now. That's okay, right. so what have we got that's already melted? This right here is gonna be, this is what the wax looks like when it's in, in its cold state. We've already melted our wax in the microwave for about three to four minutes on high, and okay. our melting temperature is gonna be, or our pouring temperature is gonna be about 180 degrees. Okay. And once we've already done this, we got to make sure that we have everything ready to do our next step, which is going to be uh, pouring in fragrance. Okay, so we've got what? Fra fragrance is going to be right here, pumpkin okay. spice. Pumpkin spice. And this is going to be our coloring that will be okay. the next step. So this right here, let me get this out of the way for mm -hmm. you. Get this thermometer out of the way for you. All right. So this right here, we're going to be putting about over half that bottle, about half that bottle. Go ahead and just pour it all in there. Pour it all in. Tell me when. That's good right Right there. about there. Yep, sounds okay. good. And then put the cap back on it. Uh-huh. Our next step is going to be the coloring. And since we're making pumpkin spice today, uh, our coloring is going to call for eight drops of orange. Okay. So this is the orange. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. Yay, I can count to eight. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll be doing four drops of brown. Four drops of brown. Okay. Okay. There you go. And then the next step here is going to be to go ahead and mix it with our mixing spoon. Mm -hmm. Make sure that gets real nice and mixed there. Okay. And then once that's mixed up really good, our next step is going to be, you can hand me the spoon, I'll take care of that mm -hmm. for you. Next step is going to be to actually pour the cubes. And here you're actually just going to go ahead and pour them right to the top of that lip. So obviously you don't want to spill them, you don't want to overfill it, but just spill it. Fill it all the way up to that lip right there. Right there, so just carefully mm -hmm. pour. And try and keep it, oops. Yeah, it, it'll, it'll even itself out. Even, there we go. Right all about right. there. Yeah, you can pour a little bit more. A little more. All right. Okay. Okay, so that's what the cubes like look like there. And then the next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and do this pumpkin mold. And this is just something, if you wanna get a little creative, do it, uh, do it yourself kind of project. I'll give you an example over here of what we did earlier, but just go ahead and pour it in there, yeah. There we go. Get that in there. All righty. And then once we let that solidify, um, 
You can let, it's gonna take about four hours to solidify. You'll be able to pop them out. And then just to give you an example of some of the ones that we've already done, these are some of the ones that we did at our, at, at home. Oh, just so the you, spider you webs and spiders spider webs and, and skulls. skulls. So you wanna get a little creative at home. But uh, this is uh, just something to be able to do some cubes uh, and get creative if you wanna do something custom for your party or something themed that you're doing at, at this uh, holiday season. Now, if you're not the crafty type, you guys still offer a variety of stuff. Yes. Over there, right? Yes, we sure do. If you go to our website, uh, you'll see all the uh, products that we carry on our uh, on our website and uh, if uh, you don't feel like making cubes uh, you can always buy them from us all right and folks can of course find you at karmacandlemakers.com yes ma'am that's correct all right for more information and this recipe just head to our website salive.com and click on the as seen on sa live tab all right up next this coffee shop will mocha you crazy <laughs> <laughs> David takes you inside Mud Slingers, where they're cranking up a roast-worthy caffeinated cup of joe. And it's time for this week's Cool Zone, brought to you by the Fire Boys. Get ready to shake your hips side to side, because Sound Cream Airstream will continue their pop-up dance party on wheels at the historic Pearl through the month of October. It's a family-friendly dance party every Wednesday night from 6 to 9 p.m. You can grab dinner at one of the Pearl's restaurants or pack a picnic and BYOB. It does get packed, so make sure to arrive a little early. That's this week's Cool Zone, brought to you by the Buyer Boys. We'll be right back with more SA Live after this. It's David Elder with SA Live. Well, I'm out here at a drive through coffee shop that's slinging out good vibes and great coffee. We're going to go to Mudslinger's drive through coffee here off Thousand Oaks and taste some of their delicious lattes and so much more. Mudslinger's Coffee is brewing up quick cafe creations for people on the go in San Antonio. The staff is always friendly and very helpful. The drive through Java Hut has been here for a few months near the north side of San Antonio, and customers have been loving the fast service. They are the best, and I always support our local businesses. I mean, we even know the dogs' names and the kids' names when they come through. The owner opened the drive through coffee shack. I need my coffee. This is without it. Whoa. <laughs> After she fell in love with the concept while visiting another city here in the United States. This is the only one in Texas. You know, there are a few other mudslingers around the country. They all look different. They totally different personalities. All of the drinks are made super quick, with three popular drinks standing out from the rest. Top three is, of course, the Mudsling, which is what we're named after. Cinnamon Bun Avalanche. And uh, our new Pumpkin Spice Breve Latte. The Mudslinger has two shots of espresso, chocolate syrup, yeah, chocolate and caramel, whipped cream, and yeah, chocolate on top. The cinnamon bun latte is true to its name. Cinnamon bun flavor partners with vanilla and two shots of espresso to make for one sweet treat. And it's not fall without a pumpkin spice latte. Which is just to die for, but just don't die. The pumpkin spice latte is, you guessed it, two shots of espresso and delicious pumpkin spice flavored goodness. Mudslingers even offers donuts and other sweet treats to go along with your hot coffee. Great coffee, very friendly. We've gotten to know the staff and love them. Mudslingers drive through coffee is a fast way to get your morning caffeine fix. All right, so you got to come out here to Mudslingers drive through coffee. I'm actually going through myself right now. Got a few drinks for some co-workers. They know I'm getting it for them, though, so it's going to be a nice surprise. All the orders ready to go. What's up? Six drinks. We got the cinnamon bun. We got the pumpkin spice. I mean, this... Cinnamon sugar donuts. <laughs> And, and you know you gotta get donuts too. Donuts. So you get a punch card when you come out here too. So every drink you get, you get one punch, and then you get buy ten, get one free. For SA Live. Bye. Bye. I'm David Elder. That looks good. You know what else looks good? What? This is not beer. Yes, it is coffee. And you know what goes good with coffee what? that's in a brown beer bottle? Mm. Rock and roll. Ooh. Mm. Yes. <laughs> David Victor. David Victor. David Victor. Yeah. Formerly a ball. Yes, You're sir. You're in town for a big event tomorrow night at the Tobin Center, right? The Tobin Center, that's right. We're doing a little show called Rock Stars and Stripes, ladies and gentlemen. A rock and roll road trip across America. And we're coming right here to San Antonio. And I love this. You've got your guitar with you. I got my guitar just in case anybody <laughs> wants me to sing. No. What self-deserving rock and roller doesn't travel with their own guitar at you know, 24 a hours a day? Sip. And a, and, yes. a, and a quick sip. So you uh, were with the band Boston. I was. I and was. it's just, it's like a, a movie story They found story me almost. on the YouTubes. You, you remember the YouTubes? The, the yes. tubes of the U. You were playing one of their songs. They went, hey, we like, I mean, that's everything. Sign that green. kid up. 
That's what they said. They literally said, sign that kid up. And so I joined the band for five years, did two tours, did the Boston Strong uh, bombing, uh, Marathon Bombing Benefit mm -hmm. with Aerosmith at the Boston Garden. And it was a fantastic time, just a, a rock and roll dream come true. Again, did you have to kind of pinch yourself going, okay, I'm playing with Boston, <laughs> there's Aerosmith. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. In fact, uh, at the finale there, I had to get up and sing, and my wife put me up to it. I was like, they don't want to see me up there. And she's like, get up there. So I got to put my hand, arm around Steven Tyler, oh my have God. a good time, sing, come together with Aerosmith. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> That is very cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so real quickly, because we've got a contest coming, because you also teach music, right? I do teach All right, music. So wow. we're going to see if you, Good you can, knowledge. If you can teach Mike some. I can. Okay. I can, Mike. Some Are you ready? What can you teach me? Well, I can teach you how to be a rock star. So forget about the playing or I the talent. I thought you already were in my mind. You don't need talent. In my own mind, I am. So. <laughs> you don't need talent or anything. So that's the good news. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Well, All right you need alley. to do is the poses. Oh, okay. can I show you a few poses sure. right okay. over here? Right. Maybe oh, yeah. right over here? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do the poses. So, so uh, right. right here, you got to pretty much like this, right? And the legs have to be really spread. Without, and without, then it's just the arm you... comes over with the mouth. Ah, boom. And you're pretty much you're done. All right. Okay. I think so that's let's it. cue it up because you're going to go first right now. You're going to do some air guitar. Okay, air guitar. How do you get back Ready? up from this position? Here we go. Uh, no, you're, you're next, Mike. You better be watching. Okay. Here we go. Okay. And go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. Right. My, turn. my turn. Here we go. Throw it on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Get that on there. Mike, my Oops. package. Oh, oh, oh no. my goodness. No. It's a, it's a microphone. Well, I can do it. There no. we go. There All go. right. All right. Ready? Okay. Here Ready? Here we go. Here we go, Mike. Let's see what you okay, got. Low. Right. You low. look like a natural. Low. Come on. Those legs. There we go. <laughs> Mike, you missed your calling. You I missed your calling, my friend. I know about that. Yeah. So you're going to be at the at the Tobin Center mm -hmm. tomorrow Tobin Center. evening. Tomorrow night, eight o'clock ish. And it's all those fantastic songs from Boston. Fifty songs. Fifty. Wow. Oh my God, fifty songs. We do all the greatest American rock and roll hits of all time in one 90-minute show. Be there. And you said one of the best parts about it was when you joined Boston. Everybody go. I remember when I was in high school listening to you, and you're just going. No, I was an yes, amoeba, but thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, thank sir. Thank you. Enjoy it. All right, oh, coming up. Oh, my goodness. All right, so it's all about the coffee talk on today's show. Um, oh, we're going to add a little perk in your prep with beauty oh. products made with caffeine. And get this, they're all... Some one of them's under 25 bucks, one of them's under $2. Wow, and Monday on SA Live, it will officially be October. Yay! We are kicking off the new month with pumpkin spice martinis. Wrong day to be here, Dave, and pumpkin spice martinis. And creme brulee sweets. You won't want to miss where you can snag these sweet treats for less than 10 bucks. That's all Monday. Stay with us. Well, this caffeinated version of uh, SA Live continues with a big shout out to Halcyon Coffee located in Blue Star Arts Complex in Southtown for creating our very own SA Live coffee art. That's so cool. We'll boost your mood with coffee infused beauty style and beauty expert Donna Kim from DonnaDaily.com is here to share a few must have brew tea products. Love that. Okay. <laughs> All right. That, that, um, and one of them is under $25 and one of them is under $2, right? Can you guess which one? Okay. So let's see which one is under $25. I feel like I'm on the prices, right? Let's see. Let's go with that one. You're right. Yes. There we go. Okay. Okay. So let's start with this. Okay. So this is from Mullen and Sparrow. It's a luxurious vegan beauty line. Uh -huh. First of all, I just want you to smell this because it smells so good. Okay. Oh, that is nice. All that's in there. Um, I just want to walk around like this, <laughs> although I'd look silly. All that's in there is shea butter, mm -hmm. coffee, and coconut oil. Oh, my and God. And so the finely ground um, coffee will help exfoliate your skin, and especially if you have dry or dull skin, it'll just restore it back to its natural state. Okay. All right. $24 at melaninsparrow.com. Very nice. Okay. Now, one of these is under $2. I'm going to go with this one yeah. right here. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. This is a CVS favorite. This is sold at CVS. It's the chocolate and coffee self-heating face mask. Don't you love face masks? Oh, yeah. You just bring them wherever you go. So you tear it up, you put it all over your face, and instantly you're just going to start to feel it 
very refreshed and really awakening your skin. And you just can't go wrong with the price. I mean, no, a dollar ninety nine. That's yeah. not bad. No. And you can find that pretty much anywhere, right? Exactly. And so let's talk about the benefits of you know, like yes. coffee beans for for you. So aside from the obvious, aside from it smelling amazing and mm -hmm. it helps to wake you up, um, it can actually help restore your skin, especially if it's if you have discoloration. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also really good just as an antioxidant. So it's really good just to tighten your skin. Mm -hmm. And there's so many endless benefits to it too, for your hair, your body, but particularly for your skin, it's like a magic ingredient. Speaking of magic ingredients, if you are one of those coffee lovers that just have to be around it all the time, <laughs> guess what? You can wear it now on you. Yes, as a cologne or a perfume. So this is by Atelier Cologne. Um, it's so delicious. It smells so amazing. With one spritz, it's just enough. Mm -hmm. And take a whiff there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So there's um, coffee in there, there's cacao, there's vanilla, and it's actually um, inspired by the tuberose flower. So anyone can really wear the scent. <laughs> and you can get it at the New, uh, Neiman Marcus in La Cantera in San Antonio. All right. And about how much does that retail for? So this starts from 85 and it goes all the way up. 85 and up. All right. Great stuff from Donna Kim from DonnaDaily.com. For more information on her and these products, just head to our website, SALive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Back with more after this. One last Coffee Talk trivia for today. Coffee lovers, unite. You can go for a swim in a coffee pool at Unison Spa Resort. It's in Japan. And if coffee isn't your style, you have other options like their green tea, red wine, and sake hot tubs. A red wine hot tub? Ooh, that sounds good. Hey, Dunkin' Donuts, some great coffee there. And you can get a free medium coffee with the purchase of a medium or larger hot coffee today. And don't Look forget the Dunkin' Donuts, Donuts, too. Yes, for Halloween. Mm. And, of course, a big shout-out to Quick Sip Coffee, a local company brewing up sip-worthy cold brews for the person on the go. They've got two flavors, original cold brew coffee and the... Texican cold brew coffee. Made with Ethiopian coffee beans or something yes. like that. So. There's a free tasting there tomorrow. You've got the information on your screen. Wow. We're all hyped up with all this coffee today. I know. I told you. We're buzzing. Aren't you buzzing? We are. We're just going to make it through till Monday. So have a fantastic weekend, everybody. Stay dry. Have a cup Try of coffee. Too. Cheers.